Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing a game titled Venture to the Vile. Studio Cut to Bits has produced and released this 2.5D Metroidvania game, which has now released on Steam and will be available at a later date on all other platforms. This is an indie production with the game being built using the Unity engine. Now, I myself downloaded the demo on Steam to get a look at the game and what it has to offer. The art direction is a very lovely, bringing to reality a world which could easily fit into a Tim Burton movie. The story is centered around a nameless protagonist who loses his friend Ella while out in the woods, and the hero is then infected by something called the vial, which gives him the ability to turn his right hand into a vicious claw. Now this becomes the central characteristic of the protagonist because he has then the ability to absorb enemy abilities, thus increasing your arsenal toolbox. The world itself is a Victorian inspired environment where everyone wears animal themed masks. This then adds to the somewhat eerie and creepy nature of an otherwise bright looking game. And as you explore the world presented in the game, you are granted access to more background information regarding the inhabitants of the game and the source of the vial. Now the demo available on Steam is understandably short, but it provides just enough meat to get your interest peaked. The protagonist has access to a few things in his toolbox. There is the aforementioned claw for basic attacks, a parry which needs to be timed to be successful in order to open up to a counter attack, dash and back step, double jump and wall jump. These are standard fare to the Metroidvania genre with one addition being that you have access to a tentacle to draw in close to an enemy or to use when platforming. Now, controls feel very intuitive, especially for anyone who is familiar with Metroidvanias. Movement is best a little sedate, but I suspect that this improves as you progress through the game. Much like other games in the genre, such as Hollow Knight, which in and of itself has become the benchmark for modern day Metroidvanias, the game will have abilities for you to gain which will improve combat, traversal, and other characteristics of your hero. As a first time offer from Studio Cut to Bits, it does seem that Venture to the Vile is not all that different from other titles in a saturated market, but its art style and overall presentation gives it a uniqueness which makes it stand out. Their choice of a 2.5D aspect makes it a little more unique and provides even more room to improve on said uniqueness. Now my demo play has left me thoroughly interested and I will definitely be purchasing the game in the near future so that I can give it a thorough playthrough treatment. Its current price is very attractive at 230 Rand or $13 on Steam. It is a solid entry and I would highly recommend you grab it now because as it currently stands it is on a reduced offer on Steam at about 200 Rand. With all that being said I hope you enjoyed this video and please do give it a like and comment that really helps a lot and subscribe it really helps. And if you wish to support my channel, do bear in mind I do have a Patreon, which I've linked in the uh, video description. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you and stay safe. Trench.